Hello friends, welcome to DevOps training session and in this lecture we will learn Paul SEM. So Paul SEM means, uh, suppose example if you are working on a project and if anything is changed in your Git repository, suppose example if any developer pushed the code into, the, into their branch or it may be because of uh, the branch is merged, so the Jenkins will trigger a job okay suppose if a developer push their changes into their branch so Jenkins will trigger a job and generate the build so this is called Paul SCM whatever the changes happen into the git repository the build will generate so let's learn how to set up a Paul SCM so click on the new item define project name fill style project and okay so provide the description this is the example of so let's see and uh, I have the set up a one project in git repository so just go there and copy the project from here so repository is public then we have the option so we have to select the git hub hook trigger pull SCM okay and build option so we have to select the top level maven target and select the maven and define the goal so our goal is package p a p k package okay and apply and save okay so let's copy url here go to the git repository setting and webhook so add webhook here password will ask the password okay so you, here you have to define the payload url so this is my payload url then github slash webhook okay so this is if you define these things so whenever any event is happen in your git repository so it will trigger to your jenkins and start build okay so so let's click on add webhook okay so webhook is added let's change in anything in your git repository let's go to the git section and i just changing this file okay go to the edit and type this is the new line edit and commit the changes so we go to the our jenkins our project and we can see here a new build is trigger okay so what we did in our git we just add sorry we did the one commit so on the basis of commit the jenkins will trigger a job so when we click here it will execute all these things it will check out the code and start the test execution and generate the build so this is the policy let's do again for testing i will do one more line here this is line 2 and commit the changes go to the jenkins and you can see here the build 2 is trigger so for whenever we are doing any changes okay so in your git repository the build will trigger so this is called policy okay so let's check another options so in previous things we have set up the all the push event and we can uh, if we select this option so if anything is like suppose example if any developer uh, fetch or any git command is happen so it will trigger the job and when we select this one so we have to many options whenever uh, sorry when your build will trigger so suppose example if commits happen or like uh, poll request push release so any we can define the couple of options is here to trigger a job 